Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you how you can deploy Next.js MySQL crude application on Vercel. So, to deploy this application on Vercel, you have to make an account on Vercel.com. Just go to Vercel.com and here sign up for an account and then log into your account. Here you can see this is my dashboard. I have already logged in to my account. And here you can see I have no projects yet on my virtual account. So in this video, we will deploy the Next.js MySQL crude application on virtual. So back in VS Code. Now here you can see this is my project directory next MySQL. And here I will open a terminal and now here uh, we need to install virtual CLI version in our computer to deploy the, our application on virtual. So to install virtual CLI version in our computer, we have to run a command npm install hyphen g virtual. After running this command, this will install virtual CLI in your computer. And after installing the virtual CLI, I have already installed virtual CLI in my computer. And after installing virtual CLI, run the command virtual login. Before running this command, make sure you have logged in your virtual account in your browser. As you can see, I have already logged in to my virtual account in my browser. And after logging in, run this command virtual login. And here you can see it is asking me uh, to choose an option. So I will choose continue with email as I have made my account will with email address. And here it is asking me to input my email address. So I will write my email address here. And now uh, it has sent me an email address to verify my login. So I will verify my login. And here you can see now my login is verified. And after this, just run the command virtual and after running this command this will ask you some questions and after that this will deploy your application on virtual but before running this command we have to make some changes in our project so in the project directory from the pages folder open uh, app.js file and here change the script to this script as we are using the script component we have imported earlier from next script the s of this component script is capital and the s of normal script is small so make sure to write the capital s as this refers to the script component imported from this next script so after changing this now open the terminal and run the command virtual and this will ask you some questions here it is asking me to set up and deploy uh, this project so i will say yes and here it is asking me to choose an account so this is my account and this is my username programmer I will press enter and it is asking me to link to an existing project. I will say no. And now it is asking me to give uh, the project name. So I will write crude 346. This will be my project name. Now I will press enter and again I will press enter. And now it is uploading the code 
on the virtual account and here it is asking me to modify this setting i will say no now it is deploying the application on the virtual account and now our application is deployed on the virtual account here you can see this is the url but before accessing our project with this url we have to add the environment variable uh, in our virtual account so go to your virtual account dashboard and here you can see this is our application i will click on that and here you can see it is showing me 500 internal server error so this is showing because of the environment variable we have to set so just click on go to settings and go to environment variables and here add an environment variable next public host and its value will be https crude 346. Virtual dot app and check mark on these production preview and deploy development option and then click on save. This will add the environment variable for your application. Now let's refresh the page and here you can see our environment variable is added. Now go to deployments and click on these three dots and then click on redeploy and then check mark this redeploy with existing build cache option and then click on redeploy this will redeploy your application but this time it will re redeploy your application with the environment variable we have just added and after completion of deployment we will we can see our project live so let's wait for the deployment process and here you can see now the deployment is completed we will go to this domain and here you can see now our project is deployed on virtual and this is the URL of the project. Uh, let's test the working of this project. So I will add a new employee. Uh, I think there's an error. Let's refresh the page. Now let's add an employee. And here I will write the username of employee. So here I will write deployed deployed at gmail.com and then I will click on add. And here you can see it is showing me that user is added successfully. And on the third page, our user is showing up right here. So the working of our application is fine and now let's test the search functionality so here you can see it is working correctly pagination functionality is also working correctly now let's test the delete functionality i will delete this user and here you can see the user is deleted now go to the second page first page now let's check the edit user functionality and here i will change the username of this user then click on save here you can see it is showing me user is edited successfully and here you can see the user is edited and now let's check the multi delete functionality so i will delete multiple users at once and here you can see multi users deleted so all the functionalities are working fine so 
that's all for this video guys if you got any doubts then feel free to ask me in comments thank you very much